all right so we all have watched uh, let me see a couple of videos on youtube probably talking about market structure and practically how it goes um no matter where you find your information from i'm actually going to break it down right so um for you guys to get a better understanding i've actually um divided this into two two ways for you to actually understand and i think this is really important so let me just quickly label out this so we have actually uh what i want to say as um the theoretical way of looking at the market okay and how it is being explained most of the times and then we have the reality okay so this is the reality okay this is how it actually looks like when you're actually going to in, uh, imitate it with lines or whatsoever okay so now um with all this theory with all this uh let me say theory theory and stuff and whatsoever we all know how it ends up and we all know what i'm talking about right so let me just put this as uh, blue or something all right why is it not changing though okay so this should be the theory and this should be the reality so let me just quickly change the color reality so this is what you're supposed to expect to see okay it is not just straightforward as we all see it to be right because market structure is actually it has a very deep understanding when it comes when it, when we talk about market structure we have a very strong understanding about market structure okay now let's look about uh, let's let's look at the chart part market structure moves in waves right i've always explained this when i'm talking about this and you cannot do anything in the forex market to that market structure you cannot just say because you want to do trading support and resistance hence market structure shouldn't be the thing right market structure plays a role in every technical analysis you can think about right even those trade fundamentals when they look at the market and you see it's going to the downside they actually know what they're looking for right but personally they, they uh, you know because they don't trade technicals and technicals is all about looking on price patterns um checking price and see where price might go in the next uh whatsoever the pa that is practically price action and seeing whether the limitations should be there on these areas or not where they can be put, potentially take a trade now when we look at this particular structure right here you can see price actually imitate itself by saying it moves in what in waves higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows and then higher highs that is practically in the higher time frame in the uptrend or practically bullish trend as we may call it as a representative right so just as a mathematics, you can practically see um in AMA and this has done this and this and that. Meanwhile, they are talking about mathematics questions. Okay. So um when you look at this particular price structure right here, it actually looks very simple and it looks very structured that you can just look go to um let me see the chart and practically oh this is a high, this is a low, this is a high. And it doesn't seem like that, right? When you go to the in reality it actually looks very complicated as it seems okay you need to actually have the eyes to actually know this as this course goes right the market says i have this but i have this for you in okay but what you have to do is that let me give you the knowledge first let me let let me teach you how to endure the pain let me teach you how to let me make you strong so that you can be able to know how to actually move with it so that you can never be tempted by any move at all right so that is why this particular that, that is when this particular one comes so you can see we have a, a price structure this whole structure is just termed as what as a higher low okay why why hasn't it been labeled on there so all this is just internal structure all this move inside is just internal structure right this is all just internal structure all this movement okay until it has broken structure you you actually have everything that is inside is actually internal structure that is the reality of the forex market okay so in this particular place you just know that this is a higher time frame narrative let's just put it that way and on a higher time time frame narrative you are practically going to see a picture perfect thing okay that is mostly uh that is in most cases but when you go to the lower time frame it's going to be a bit different than it seems right practically i'll not tell you to, to, to look at candlesticks candlesticks is on its own right though it is very important to look at candlesticks which i'll come on in my next episode or something or in my next episode is coming but practically what you need to understand is that when price is ranging right what, what, what is practically a swing high and a swing low a swing high is practically um the highest point being created by what the swing low okay so and what is a single a single so the lowest point that that is being created by what by the highest point so now this highest point created this particular lowest point hence this lowest point created this particular highest point right which is practically this one now this highest point this highest string structure created this lowest string string structure which went on creating this one and then finally creating this particular one don't mind what is inside here this particular one is just internal structure okay 
all this is just internal structure so an internal structure does not actually depict where the uh, market is going right so say you are in the lower time frame and you see or let's say price has shifted structure you think price when try price that are creating higher uh, lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs it has practically done what started moving to the downside hence when price comes to the particular area you are like okay fine when price comes to this place i'm taking a sell and then eventually you get stopped out and price continues to the upside leaving you behind okay so that's practically what happens so that is why you're supposed to actually look at that's why you're supposed to actually look at how price actually moves right so price moves in higher highs higher lows and then in lower lows lower highs right so what i'm explaining here is relatively um opposite to the other okay it all happens the same way okay similar but opposite to the other this one is in this case is an uptrend and this one in this case is a downtrend okay hence the reason why we call this um let me say a price structure or something uh, let me say a lower low or whatsoever okay so now when we look at uh, market structure on its own market structure actually has the very strong momentum that we can talk about all this is actually weak and all this is uh, actually i mean all these ones are actually weak right why is it weak because it has failed to hold right it has failed to break structure and anything that fails to break structure um is actually a weak high or probably a weak low so this low has failed to break or let's say just say this particular low here has failed to break this particular high okay hence it has become what a weak low and the reason why it has because it has failed to break it uh, the, the low actually right here became stronger and pushed price to the downside now making this one another weak low because it that one to have so failed to create a high that can be that can potentially break this particular high that was above right here so hence there is no actually um strong momentum to push it to the upside okay so we all know how price structure works like if you don't have enough funds let me say to support your family you are determined as a weak person and probably anybody that has money can come and control you you go and become a liberal for that person and hence work for him that is where the ups and downs come in okay as just in life and as how it is normally okay so now internal structure is actually everything in between the a swing high and then and then what the swing low okay so anything between inside of the swing high and the swing low so as i mentioned this is the swing high this one here is the swing high and this is the swing low so this is a range inside there is just a ranging market okay until it breaks out we don't have a particular strong momentum that can we can depict to see it is going to the downside or to the upside okay before a high is created you don't know whether there, there is a high going to be created or there is a low going to be created you are just standing behind and you know behind the narrative that uh, price structure is going to create higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows or lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs so all this is always going to be intimidating right price can you know do whatever it likes it you, you just have to follow the market you just have to follow the trend you just have to know that as price is going it in a uh, in in its uh, let me say that direction you just have to follow it and know what you are looking for okay so when price was going up you never knew whether to pull back okay but it is only the, the, the narrative price doesn't just move strongly to the upside without any uh, turn of direction price goes up comes down goes up come down goes up come down okay so the next thing you see after a break of structure is actually a pullback on any time frame okay it will just forget whether it be um whether it be the high uh, the one minute time frame the two hour time frame the five minute time frame or the yearly the 10 yearly time frame if that is uh, that is actually existing you are always going to come across um pullbacks okay pullback is supposed to happen that is what actually gives us an opportunity to enter the market okay so what happens is that why are these things always created you are the question might be why does price creates higher highs higher lows lower highs lower higher lower lows okay so um the world is being controlled by financial institutions and the hedge funds right so um the economical influences are all situated inside the forex market that um, basically saying that so whatever that is being happening inside the economical calendar or let me say in the financial world is basically what is reflecting as charts on what on the uh, let me see on a digital world that is practically giving us the opportunity to also make profits of it as let me say in a way of what betting so this will i'm not saying this is actually the real football betting stuff this is actually a little bit different because this one you can learn and then finally become a, become an expert in it right so that is strangely what you're supposed to understand with this okay so now we now know that price structure is being controlled by the financial influences we also have to know this is how now it goes right so price creates particular structures in a sense that um the, 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 the institutions buys and then sells 
okay why do they sell you may ask so let's say they have they had sell positions on this particular area that's practically when they were buying they took it in the sense that when they have been influenced by other market structures they don't want uh, they don't lose the market from going to the direction they wanted okay now when price starts falling okay when it reaches to that place they close once off of break even while the buy structures is being uh, what you call it running hence after they have closed they start putting another what buys they will sell this and to come down they are those controlling the market they make sure they buy and then they sell right so they sell take some profits and they are buying again leaving other orders that are already here okay practically leave in, uh, let me see imbalances that is a space that is supposed to occur and give you the sense that you need right so now they do this multiple times okay so that's why you practically see someone in his like, YouTube video saying sell to buy buy to sell all that stuff and all those stuff so that is how the, the, the institutions work okay and as I mentioned so in the lower time frame structure price starts crease lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows lower just that same way that as, as you can see on price structures so you're supposed to know that anything that is within this particular low and this particular high it still maintains a bullish structure because the potential of it going to the upside is very high and all the time you that's what you're always looking for you're always looking for the potential that is stronger than the potential that is never strong if there is a confirmation that this one this particular price structure is strong that is the structure you're going to follow because it is what that's what is actually going to give you the opportunity to ride and actually make your profits off from okay so same applied to this particular trend right here right so now we have the weak highs weak lows and then the weak uh, uh, lows and weak highs okay so now any price structure with this smiley face is actually mean that this particular piece is strong for you to put your stop loss below okay this particular area is strong and it's uh, value to put your stop loss below this ones okay now in this place why put your stop loss here when you know price is eventually coming to break this particular place or why sell from this area when the price is eventually coming to break this particular point so it is never advisable to come and put your sales around these areas right so this um, you know it is going to the upside it, 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 with this particular movement that you already know and you're already familiar with so this is actually a market walkthrough from uh, just using theory and other stuff so this is actually how you might look at it to be and this is how actually how it might represent on the forex market okay now let's go into let me clear all these charts now let's go into the real market structure okay so now we have a very strong momentum right here right so price has started creating um, a higher, a higher highs and higher lows at the moment okay because as you can see price started from this place created a high and a low why do i consider this a low it is practically because price hasn't broken structure it hasn't closed below the part this particular low and it went off breaking structure so the internal structure i was talking about is actually this one right so you see high and a low you think this is going to continue to downside creating higher highs and higher lows no because it hasn't broken this one what you need to know is that the fact that price has started creating this particular high it has made this high a low and, uh, and this one has started breaking internal structure already it actually gives you the sense that price is going to continue to the upside so hence it continues that way up until this way so how do you know a high is created a high is created when price starts to give a pullback okay let's say price was going to the upside and then eventually it starts giving a lower lows and lower highs like just like this one lower low lower highs lower low okay so that the high that it left becomes your, your swing point all right and that is how price structure works now you are waiting for a low to be created is this a low is this low valid no why is it not valid because it doesn't broken any structure okay um a low is valid when there is a break of structure to the upside or to the downside in uh, in in regardless of uh, the trend direction okay let's see this is a low and a high so is this is this high valid no why is it not valid because it doesn't broken structure all right so it, it it breaks structure when there's a break of structure that is where it becomes a high on a low um don't get me wrong this is actually a lower high so i left the low and i just called it uh, with it short form okay so this is a low and a high this is not yet a high a low when it doesn't start pulling back when it start pulling back it becomes a low right hence you are looking for the next high this is a high no where is the high you don't know yet you want to see it pulling back you, are, you want to see it breaking the structure here when it breaks the structure then it becomes a what a high okay hence giving you the momentum that you are in the downtrend so the same thing has happened right so now we don't know where whether the low is created yet so now price start going to the upside or to the downside whatsoever that it does this is just how it behaves okay 
and you can see internal structures is being created before price doesn't just go like that okay it has a price pattern a low a high a low right so hence we have a high a low a higher high a lower high rather than you start seeing a price structure creating a different pattern where is this one going you don't know yet okay so you're just waiting to see how price goes and in this case price has started creating breaking structures on the um, internal structure breaking structures from here breaking structures and you are still wanting to see this one to get broken so after this one gets broken then you want to check for your entry tire entry now this one has been broken strongly right now you're waiting for another one pull back so is this a high it has started creating a high but it's not a high so we can't consider it a high because it hasn't started giving a pullback okay so now it has started giving a pullback again this one becomes what our next high now where is our low it is not yet created yet because we are looking for an opportunity to see where the price will go with this particular low okay so it's just for you to identify where price is going and as you can see how it has reacted off of it multiple times you can see how price has started reacting off of the area a, a, a low a high then we are looking for the next potential to the upside so that's basically how price structure works and that is how everything is done okay so the financial market as i mentioned is being controlled by a lot of uh, economical calendars and that stuff so you can see we have a higher high a lower low a higher high a lower low a higher low rather and then uh, creating a new higher high okay so that's how it actually works right so now hope you guys understand this particular market structure work through and so make sure you um practice this yourself you 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 when you want to practice or when you don't practice you never understand such a thing right you have to practice and get what you're looking for and also make sure you get what you are what you are also looking at make sure you understand make sure you are actually uh getting the understanding of what you are looking at right okay all right so let's let's go to let's um go to a downtrend and start representing okay so let me just quickly go to the four hour time frame where we can actually get downtrends to look at price okay so as price started also coming down to this particular one you can see price created a high right this was this was broken and went to the upside so created a high probably a super of liquidity started breaking the structure to the downside hence confirming our our, our low structure so now we have a low that is being created a high a lower low a high a lower low and a high so now as you can see inside is all all contained with what internal structure liquidity so as i mentioned all this and all this is actually what inside a range so until everything is confirmed we are still not what in a downtrend okay uh, we are still not in an uptrend just like this one this one has actually started to break structures from here so you have your low so this one was the broker structure you have your low from here and price broke structure to the upside so confirming your trend change so i'll be recording the next video talking about trend change and whatsoever okay so um thank you guys for watching and hope to see you in my next episode